Hello, it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. I'm in my kitchen this afternoon and getting ready to make a creamy white bean chili for tonight's dinner along with some cornbread muffins. And I've been just really excited these past few days. Autumn is finally here and making its presence known. Pumpkins are peeking out in the garden. The maple trees are turning a beautiful shade of gold. And it's just that comfort season where you want to cozy up your home, make sure your loved ones are safe and warm. It's that time of year for those creamy pumpkin lattes, hearty soups and stews, and cozy knit sweaters. So I'm really glad you're here to join me while I make this autumn dinner for our family. So I decided to light a few of our autumn candles in the kitchen just to bring a sense of calm and peace into the home while I make dinner. Sometimes our kids can be a little loud while running around, coming in and out of the house, so I tend to hear a lot of loud banging from the opening and closing of our screen door. But I just, I try to just gather myself into my own little world, I guess, so I can enjoy cooking. So I'm going to start by chopping two medium-sized onions, and we got these from our garden. And after I'm done chopping the onion, I'm going to saute them in about a fourth of a cup of olive oil for about 10 minutes. I will leave the recipe down below. But this chili, it's so delicious and it's comforting. I've been making this for almost a decade now, probably. I got it off Epicurious a long time ago and just changed a few things so it's a little bit more simple to make. So I'm going to finish doing this and we'll move on to the next step. So while the onions were sauteing in the olive oil, I did add just a pinch of salt and pepper to them just because I think food tastes best when you season as you go. So after about 10 minutes or so when they just started to barely turn brown, I added a third of a cup of all-purpose flour to the pot and whisk constantly for about 5 minutes. And if it looks like it's a little too dry, then you can add just a little bit more oil. Then I'll add four cups of vegetable broth, three cups of half and half, and then I'll let it simmer for about 10 minutes so it thickens. And then I'm gonna be adding more goodness to the soup. I'll be adding dry cumin, chili powder, more salt, and freshly ground pepper, 
white cannellini beans and shredded chicken but you can certainly omit the chicken and it'll be just as yummy so I'm gonna do all this and then I'll prepare everything else for dinner
place we could be. Yeah.